Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on showing the different uh, outdoor snap sports tiles that are available. Um, I got some samples mailed to me, so I just wanted to kind of go over and show you what I, you know, normally I, I own some VersaCort, but uh, I also want to see what the snap sports look like too. So um, I got three different tiles here. I got the DuraCort, I got Outdoor Bounce Back, and I have the Outdoor Revolution. And they're all pretty similar. Um, it does look like the bounce back. If you look, the bounce back is slightly taller uh, than the other two. You, got, uh, you can kind of see right here that it's probably, you know, about an eighth of an inch taller. Um, it also seems like it's a little bit heavier duty than the other two tiles, um, in my opinion. Um, if you flip it over, it's, it's got a lot of uh, support underneath to try to keep it from uh, dipping and stuff. These have a lot of support too, but not quite as much. It's not as thick. And this one is, you know, the of the three is the least amount. Um, as far as traction goes, like in the hole size, I mean, you can see that the, the bounce back has the biggest holes as far as letting in uh, dirt and rock so if you have like uh, a lot of issues with like leaves and dropping junk and stuff like that then that you may have problems with this one with uh, things getting in the cracks and causing problems um this one i mean it's pretty small on this one um, i'm trying to think if i have anything for comparison i have like a battery so you can kind of see like how big how small the holes are so you can kind of see how out here in comparison and this one the outdoor revolution has <clears throat> really has some smaller boxes and then some bigger rectangles and stuff i think this is meant for this is the only one that has pickleball available for it and i wonder if that's just to try to make the the ball bounce better i know that like on these ones that have like the bigger bigger holes like if you try to roll like a smaller ball like probably like a golf ball or something like that it may not roll uh the greatest over something like this um i know on the the versicourt game it has like similar type of uh spacing as this and uh it would also you know have problems i think with uh rolling a golf ball so but um to be honest i mean all three of these tiles are pretty nice i don't think i would have any problems recommending uh, any of them i think they would all work out pretty well uh, the only, I think these these two, the bounce back and the revolution, I think are the, the higher end. They both have like there's a shock tower thing that they put underneath this to provide like additional support. Uh, I mean, from my experience with using the tiles, like I haven't had any problems on the VersaCort stuff with uh, uh, like hurting my knees or anything. Like compared to the concrete that I had before, man, the concrete killed my knees. But, like, I don't, I don't have any problem with the Bursa cord, even though it doesn't have any, like, ex extra support or anything like that. I think just the plastic itself gives you quite a bit of give over the concrete and stuff like that. So, I'm not necessarily sure that the shock tower would be necessary with, with any of these. Um, the DuraCore is prob probably the, the cheapest option, since it doesn't have the shock tower uh, stuff. But, I think, I think you couldn't do... I think the, all three of these are pretty nice. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.